uh, the curious case of Calvin Phillips. Now, Benjamin Cal- Button. Benjamin Button, maybe. Obviously, it's a great movie with Brad Pitt. It's a book. Uh, Calvin it's a book Phil- you un- you heathen. It by Scott Fitzgerald. It's yeah. Just a um, but the curious case of Calvin Phillips is an interesting one. Of course, he signed for nearly 50 million quid last summer for Man City, a player that I really liked. I was raving about all the time. I thought he was such a dynamic midfielder. I think he plays football the right way. Leeds fans loved him. And there's this kind of the rumours circulating that Guardiola never backed him, never even even the first few weeks of training, never thought he moved the ball quick enough, was never available, was never really liked by Guardiola. Is this just one of the biggest flops in the last couple of years that you can think of in the Premier League? Did did you when it when he signed, you said there that you were backing him in that. Did yeah, you think massively. it was did you think he was gonna actually start and play and feature and be a big part of Man City going forward? Yeah, did it's you one act- of my really poor predictions, which is very rare, of course, as you two will know. <laughs> no, um, but did you honestly think that yeah. that's who he was gonna I, be? I saw Guardiola move move into a system we saw moments where there are inverted fullbacks we even saw it with Carl Walker coming in I thought Carl, uh, Calvin Phillips in big games would come in alongside Rodri and Rodri would push up a little bit further and we could pat the midfield with mm. a bit more physicality and it's, uh, and the proof's in the pudding that John Stones literally did that mm. in Champions League finals against Real Madrid in the Champions League semi-final because he's such a generational talent of moving the ball quick uh, and then his defensive kind of awareness is, is unbelievable Calvin Phillips was meant to be that guy and he's not that guy. I, you know, I never saw. That's the issue. I always thought it was a weird one. I always thought it was a weird signing. It's not. It's not like what happens when Guardiola makes a decision is. I even if I don't get it. So Kovacic is another example. Okay, that that doesn't really resonate with me. But Guardiola will get it right. And once once Kovacic has been Guardiola, it will be brilliant. And that's what I said about Phillips. I don't get this, but he'll be Guardiola and he'll be great. But but the way that Calvin Phillips plays the game, that hustle, Harry urgent way of playing doesn't really chime with what I know Guardiola's midfields to be anyway and Guardiola got fooled by probably Bielsa being a big fan of Calvin Phillips because Guardiola's a big fan yeah, of that's, Bielsa that's true that you're bang on that's, you're, you're that's probably gone to me oh this guy's amazing yeah. and to be fair in Bielsa's system he was really good but he being was. big for Leeds yeah, yeah it's different yeah it's, it's so different I'm just I'm just surprised but I think Calvin Phillips I don't know like there was talk about his and, was he overweight and things like that? Like his discipline in terms that of... That could have been down to injuries though and stuff, innit? He's been in very... Unlo- I mean, he had a shoulder injury very early on in his career. He's had a couple of other niggles. The issue would be that he's come back and he's been available for certain games, even even in certain pre-season games. Uh, even in the Community Shield, I think it was. Not even trusted in those games, mm. which is really... Yeah, uh, like the likes of Rico Lewis. Stark, Rico Lewis. Guardi- Guardiola's... Stones Guardi- even played but Guardiola's yeah. clearly like... Guardiola is clearly acknowledging what he sees in training, what he knows Calvin Phillips to be, conversations that he has with Calvin Phillips and his staff and his other players, his senior pros. And he's making an educated decision that this guy is not the right material for Man City. Mm. This clip is brought to you by Super 6. Do you want the chance to win £250,000? All you have to do is correctly predict six scores in the Premier League every single weekend. That's an unbelievable opportunity, if you ask me. And of course, if you join our mini league, Club 23, you get the opportunity to win 100 quid at classicfootballshirts.co.uk every single week. Trying to beat myself, Rory, and of course, Adam. Make sure you click the link down below and check it out. But I just wonder, you know, if Calvin Phillips has maybe, if he's contributed to this at all, like if if he's been very unlucky with injuries and it's all down to injuries, then I feel sorry for him. But I don't, I don't no, know the not. truth. If From the fact that Pep doesn't seem to just doesn't fancy him, doesn't no. seem to even, oh, I really want to use this guy. He yeah. only uses him when he just needs to give someone a rest. And, even, and, even, then, the and even then he doesn't. He's just he, a body, yeah. you know what I mean? He's not but someone Cal- that is Cal- fun. Calvin Phillips, you know when you kind of remove the tribalism away from football and you just acknowledge it as like a fellow? You've been presented with the opportunity of your life, mate. If you've... If documentaries about him and shit. If yeah, you've been <laughs> unlucky here... And sat on the bed. Then fair play. But if you've at all not committed to being at Man City if you've taken it easy if you've maybe not done the things that you should do off the pitch if you haven't committed to being the very best that you can be you're an idiot I, 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 I have think to Pep, say one of them coaches as well like there's a lot of people said that before he got his injuries he wasn't fancied in training by mm. Guardiola yeah. and sometimes these big managers you know if they just see a certain 
Think. Have you heard anything? I, you know, no, just no, like I, a, it's not about his always at the it's back. Not about it's not about his attitude. It's not about his application. I think, if Quality. anything, he's one of the hardest working players in the squad. He came back a week early this summer to prove himself. Sometimes, you know, in football, it's not always this big narrative behind it. Sometimes you're just not good enough. Maybe he's just a Premier League. He's a top 10 Premier League midfielder. But playing for City, playing top 10, Guardi, top 10, mean, team, not, uh, top 10 midfield, oh, right. you know, you know mm-hmm. top 10 side in the league. Uh, that lead side that we're kind of approaching mid-table in Bielsa's first season, for example. That kind of form. Yeah, fair. Playing in, about uh, alongside Nunes. Rodri, generational. De Bruyne, generational. Phil Foden, generational. Yeah, but, it's but, different but, levels. Yeah, but Nunes, they're going to sign. And look, that doesn't make any sense to me. And I'll just do what I always do about Guardiola. It doesn't make any sense to me. I haven't seen anything particularly special in him, but he'll be Guardiola and he'll be wicked. Mm. But Calvin Phillips could have prevented that signature happening. And that must be down to application. Because no, it isn't yeah. ability, is it? Because when you look at the ability of the two of them, they're comparable. No. From what we, what you see, Nunes that, moves the ball quicker than better, me. He's better on the turn. Yeah. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have said that when we saw. Oh yeah, of course. A few years ago, yeah. everyone was, you yeah, know, Calvin yeah, Phillips. Yeah. Because if you remember, for England, for England, and yeah. was it the Euro? England's, in, yeah, the Euro twenty twenty. He played Bryce, in twenty one. He was player of the year. For played England. in twenty one. Yeah, the, the tournament played in twenty one. He was, he was seen as being like brilliant. I, I, I'd never really got it. I always said Sterling was the best player in that tournament. Everybody always said it was Phillips. I don't like that hustle harrying player who who doesn't look comfortable on the ball to me. That's not the player that I identify with. But I'm just I'm just so. What sure. do you think happens to him? Next? I don't know because what did you say there? Top ten team? You think is he yeah. not better than that? Like not getting the Man City team means been you can be a Liverpool right? and stuff, hasn't it? Yeah, I think even that that kind of the the fifth to sixth seventh range. <laughs> uh, Brighton's a weird one because they're kind of they have their own little system. But you could start for Liverpool. I think he'd start for Man United in certain games. If he was fit, yeah. I, don't tell me. I he's think better, he'd start for me. Right? Than I think there's, on, there's something there. That's but I think there's something missing yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, I think there's something like I just can't, firstly I can't believe that Guardiola is just basically once Guardiola turns his back on you, then I'm I'm turning. I just follow Guardiola. If Guardiola says you're good. I think you're good. If he says you're bad, I think you're bad. Mm. And he says you're bad. Yeah. Then nobody snapped him up. So it's not like That's the it's not like concern. he became. A, it's, we put him on a massive five-year deal when he joined. I thought it was amazing business for fifty million quid. You get an England international for the rest of his prime in his twenties. Thought it was an unbelievable uh, deal in terms of the length of the contract. It's probably frozen him out of a transfer this summer, unfortunately. Mm. Um, I think it's. I think it will end up in a loan deal, and we go for Eze. We go for Nunes to try and get a bit more speed, a bit more kind of. Uh, pizzazz in the middle uh, to replace Ilkay Gundogan as well. So is he done at City? This is over. I think it's over. It, it, what's concerning is none of the games in the Premier League he's be- he hasn't featured and then in those kind of pre-season games where you're looking for 90 minutes at a time I think he was getting a few here and there. Uh, maybe started one of the pre-se- uh, pre-season games. I even thought maybe there's a world he comes, he goes back into as a centre back, as a kind of one of those sort of r- rotated roles. That's not happened because Gavardiol's been incredible since mm. he's joined. Kovacic has come in. I think the time is up for Calvin Phillips, unfortunately, and it's just those rumours. Eze Nunes come in as well. It's not a good look if you're Calvin Phillips. If if you were City, who would you rather sign then, lads? Nunes or Eze? Very very quickly, because it's going to be one of those two that replaces Calvin Phillips' oh, Eze, pacing squad. Eze, all, 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 just because of the by, kind of by a distance, look yeah. on the eye. I don't. I haven't seen it in Nunes. I haven't. I I, I haven't. I'm not saying you know he's looked all right. Mm. He's looked all right. He's looked f- fine. But I wouldn't say inspiring. Mm. I think Eze has. Yeah, yeah. Eze Nunes looked... was really good against United. I think Eze is class as well. Um, but Nunes was really. I think. If Eze needs to be starting every week, in it really as well. We want to see Eze playing football every week. Mm. I think Nunes will end up at City, and I think he'll be a really good player for him. 